what's up guys you're welcome to emacom tv where we publish um news and politics and entertainment uh there's a very high tension in uh, river state as uh there's currently a clash between uh, governor wiki of river state and ipob and um wiki have placed a bounty of 50 million naira on um one called stanley who wiki allege is a leader of ipob in oyibu local government area you get and uh, in response namdi kano have also um placed a bounty of 100 million doubling what wiki actually said so now i want you to listen to what wiki said he has he has vowed to bring the full might of the federal government and the state against activities of IPOB and the state. And also before this time out, uh, there's a rumor that why we can actually turn suddenly turned against IPOB, who he used to um admire, he likes, you get me, is that Wiki, according to rumor, has been promised the the slot of a vice presidency with one of the northern governor and um, maybe it is Tambual, which a lot of people suspect you get and um that is why he is actually trying to please the north by turning against ipob so i want you to listen to the full statement of what how he intends to bring down ipob my dear good people of the state the university government views with serious concern the unending destructive activities of the at lord indigenous peoples of the of IPOP in the river state. Recall that IPOP was classified as a terrorist organization by the Federal High Court and subsequently pres prescribed in September 2017 by the Federal Government. However, despite this ban, this group has continued to operate in parts of the country, including river state, in furtherance of its alien political objectives. Since its proscription, the group has carried out intermittent processions in parts of River State, especially in Oyibo and some notorious suburbs in protected local government areas. More often than not, these illegal processions have become regular occasions for armed IPOP members to disturb the peace of the state by unleashing violence and destruction on lives and property at will. The River State government has severely pleaded, warned, or even advised IPOP and its members to discontinue its institutional actions in River State to no avail. Instead, we are all witnesses to yet another orgy of violence and destruction inflicted by IPOP at Oyibo local government area and some parts of the local government area on Tuesday, 21st October 2020. This evil, wicked, and audacious action resulted in the unnecessary loss of scores of lives, including soldiers and police officers, and the destruction of both public and private properties, including police stations, court buildings, and business premises. Not done, they also visited physical violence of members of some targeted community which, but for the quick intervention of the state government and the security agencies, would have resulted in some form of enticing bloodbaths in the state. Today, IPOP continued with its devilish and destructive activities at Mokoshi, Irebe, and Oibo in open defense of the state government's curfew on human movements. Security intelligence and surveillance have revealed that IPOP has continued to expand its membership drive, holding meetings regularly and expanding its logistical base, including the maintenance of illegal detention cells in MNK and other parts of Job Port Harcourt. As a matter of fact, Oibo Town has practically become the group's main operational base in River State from which they have become the Toros for launching premeditated violence and terror on the states, businesses, and in As a people, 
We have become very much unsettled by the terrorist acts and endure the continuing irritations, violence, destruction, and provocations of IPOP in and against the people of River State. We agree that River State is part of Nigeria, has always been a home for all Nigerians, and will continue to be because this is our true character. But it must also be understood that River State belong to the indigenous people of River State. As a stranger element with strange political ideology, therefore, I propose no legal or moral right to invade River State or any part thereof, therefore, at its behest, to restore public peace and subject loss and property to violence or threat of destruction under any guise. What is clear from this behavior is that our love, accommodation, as authority towards all are being mistaken for weakness by the band IPOP. This being so, the time has come for us to sound this notice of warning that enough is enough. We can no longer tolerate this IPOP evil monster in River State, never. As a government, we owe our people and all residents the responsibility to protect their lives, property, and well-being and to prevent troublemakers of all shapes and character from violating our collective peace, security, and pursuit of happiness. Therefore, in view of the fact that IPOP has since been prescribed throughout Nigeria, and having come to the firm conclusion that the activities of the banned IPOP are not just dangerous to lives and property, but also constitute clear and present threats to the existential interests and aspirations of River State and all our people. We have decided to reinforce, implement, and enforce the existing judicial and national ban on IPOB by putting a total and complete stop to his presence and our activities in River State or any part thereof. Accordingly, and from today to the 3rd October 2020, the River State Government has at Lord IPOB from existing are operating in River State or any part thereof in line with the prescription order of the Federal High Court and the Federal Government. No form of possession and agitation by IPOP or any of its affiliates is allowed to take place in River State or any part thereof, henceforth. Security agencies are hereby directed to stop any form of possession or agitation by IPOP in River State or any part thereof and arrest and prosecute any person or group that identifies with the membership activities of IPOP in the state. Government will issue an executive order to strengthen and ensure the effective enforcement of these measures. I will be meeting with all leaders of each groups and community development committees in the state on Monday, 26 October 2022, to take holistic measures to counter and stop all IPOP activities in River State. Mr. Stanley Mberi, who is from Onye, is hereby declared wanted for leading members of the band IPOP to cause the recent violence and destruction of lives and property in Onye in LMA local government area. And a ransom of 50 million naira will be given to any person with useful information that will lead to the arrest and prosecution of the same Mr. Stanley Mberi. I wish to appeal to the people of Oyibo local government area to remain calm and not to take the laws into their hands, despite the intense provocation, as government has the capacity to deal with the challenge and ensure the safety of lives and property in the local government area. We will soon carry out on the sport inspection and assessment of the destruction they have suffered and take appropriate measures to mitigate the loss and damage caused to lives and property. We have expressed our sympathies to the families of all those that have either lost their loved ones or suffered damages to their properties from the destructive acts of IPOP in our state. Be assured that they have not died in vain and will do everything within our powers to give all the victims justice. We appeal to leaders of the various ethnic groups, residents in the state, to ensure that their members respect the sensibilities of our people and refrain from provocations and acts of hooliganism that could breed peace and security 
in the state. Finally, I wish to assure all Nigerians that River State will continue to be the home for all tribes as we will not shake in our responsibility to ensure the peace, security, and happiness of all residents in River State. We cannot allow our public and other misguided similar groups to threaten our collective peace, security, and well-being under whatever guise. Thank you. I'm a good continuer.